Welcome to a new edition of the $125,000 Bojangles Pro-Am Team Tournament Trail. The bass tournament that allows a weekend angler to share in the limelight previously only enjoyed by the pros. Follow us as we travel around North Carolina as weekend anglers compete in a tournament with two levels of competition with a guaranteed $4,000 first place prize. Join us as we travel to Lake Gaston at Roanoke Rapids, Sutton Lake at Wilmington, Chowan River at Edenton, Noose Trent at Newburn, Carl Lake at Flemingtown, and Roanoke River at Plymouth. Watch us each week with exciting weigh-in, fishing, and awards action as Angus compete for one of the limited slots in the prestigious Bojangles Classic. Today's show is brought to you by our proud sponsors, Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits, the new sports shop, your outdoor sportsman headquarters, Shimano Fishing, North America's leading manufacturer of high-quality fishing gear, Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Now let's go to our host, Danny Joe Humphrey, to see where today's tournament will be. Okay, today we're on the third stop of the 2021 season of the Bojangles Pro-Am Team Tournament Trail. We're on the Chowan River at Edenton, North Carolina. Great fishing down here. We're here in the, in the last part of April. It's a great time to fish, looking for some really big catches. The only problem we have is last night there was a real bad storm with a lot of hail. Don't know what that's going to do to the fishing. But these guys got a lot of choices. They can run out to Albemarle Sound. They can run up the Chowan River. They can go to the Roanoke. And they can go to Pasco Tank, Paquimans, Alligator River, anywhere they want to go. That's one good thing about fishing down here. They're going to catch some fish. I promise you that. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with the weigh-in. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football ready big bow box. You got five? Yeah, five. I hope you got this way in. He just blew the scales up here. 22, 46, let's hear it, 22, 46. Damn. Can't tell in that white bag, that was a heck of a bag of fish right there now. Boat 46, big fish. 578. Good sack here. Yeah. 
77. Boat 45, coming in here. He's squeezing to death if he ain't. You'll see him, he fills up half that sink. Got a new leader here. About 24 pounds worth, maybe 26. Is your new leader, guys? 2609. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football ready big bow box. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. Ha, ha, ha. 
New Sports Shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. a bad one that's why when you're always fishing rivers like this always make sure when you find a really good looking spot if it looks like it'll hold a fish just keep chunking in there chunk in there chunk in there chunk in there i made what four casts right there with the old spinner bait just a real basic design um i mean nothing special and got us a little bass there we go Just a little guy, but still fun. Guys, don't ever forget, just because one spinnerbait's working, try a spinnerbait with crazy colors like this, solid colors. Um, I prefer like silvers and and um, golds, um, like your standard um, shiny blades, but um, sometimes just try solid colors like that. Um, especially when you're fishing in this dirty water, it can definitely make a difference. little guy Good fish. A little bit better. Like I said earlier, I know as bass fishermen, 
we're always wanting to go, 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 and just burn through areas. And I have a bad problem about that, but sometimes just if something looks good, just keep chunking in there. I mean, the first one I caught was half this size. This one, nice little keeper. That's a better one. That's more like it. At least probably a pound and a half. Maybe like a pound and three quarters. Not bad. There we go. And make sure when you're fishing rivers such as the Noose River, Roanoke, Chowan, river systems like this, if you ever see a ditch mouth, there's always going to be fish there. 99% of the time. That's just how it works. Now uh, you got the current, you got trees, and uh, make sure you hit them. Hit ditch, ditch mouths. This is a spot that millions of people know about. It's nothing special, but still, you can pull up there and catch pretty good fish. My spinner bait broke. And look at that. Look at that itty bitty piece. I've never had that happen before. Not even a big one either. Wow, watch this. Well, it was harder to get off than what I thought. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, 
I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Okay, it's time for our AM Awards, and our first award today goes to the third place AM, W.T. Davis. He had uh, 1035, and he is not present. So we're going to go to the second place AM, which is Jim Crozier and Todd Meisner. They had 1146. They also had the Big Fish 517 for $85. Come on up here, boys. Y'all do well today. Your partner gone? Yep. Y'all do well today. I got your trophies from last time right down there. So you got these two. So you, get a good, you made a good hit there. Okay, in first place am David Foy and Charlie Allen. Y'all had a great weight, 13.95. We changed the entry fee today for the first time. Look at what first place is. That's wonderful. $600. Let's hear it, boy. $600. Good job. Good job. We're proud of you. You did a, did a good job. Okay, it's that time of the day. We're getting ready to give our awards out to our pro anglers today. Really caught some nice fish today. Beautiful weather. Had some real bad weather yesterday, and I'm sure that it hurt, but they still got some killer weights. Our first winner of the day is Charles Goff. Call him up here, please. What's your partner's name? Johnny Jones. I couldn't think of his name. Y'all had 1734. Got him a check for $240. Good job, boys. Good boy. Good job. Ninth place, we got Cody Amen and his dad, Terry Amen, they had $17.42. Got you $290. Let's hear it for them. Good job, boys. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. I will. Next team is eighth, Adam Baldwin and Jason Tripp. They had $18.54. Got them a nice little check here for eighth place for $340, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, Did a good job. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. And seventh place, come on up here. Brian Cooper, Mike Evans. Now, which one's who? Brian Cooper. Brian Cooper, Mike Evans. At 1909. And you only finished seventh. That kind of sucks, don't it? Yeah. But this will ease some of your pain. Got a check cut for him for $440. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Sixth place, Bobby Dunlow and Mike Killett. Y'all had 1983, a great weight under normal circumstances. <laughs> you ended up with sixth place. This will make you ride a little easier going home. Got them $670. Take that, boys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Okay, our fifth place team. David and Hunter Jones. You boys had a good day today. He had 2008 for fifth place. Got him a check. Listen to this $500. Nothing wrong with that, is it? $800. I'm sorry, it's $800. I cheated him. Good job, boys. I'm proud of you all. Okay. Fourth place, J.A. Williford and Weasel Jernigan. I still don't know what Weasel means. I know he says he can't tell me. You boys had a great weight today. At 20.42 pounds, got your check for what? 510. 510. 510. That's not too bad, is it, boys? That's something you can remember it with. 
Need to get him a trophy made with, with a weasel, weasel road on. <laughs> Thank you. And next time, maybe. Thank you, third time, third place. We got Chase and Jason Tice. You boys did a great job today. And I want to give you a little bit of encouragement. Y'all always hanging around here at the top. Trust Dr. Humphrey when he says this. <laughs> you will win one. Do you hear me? I hope so. You will win one. There's no doubt in my mind about it. Third place today at 2043. Got him a check for $1,010. That's not bad, is it? It's a good, good, good day on the water to win $1,000. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it. See? Okay, in second place, I thought y'all boys had it. Jordan and Hughes and Dan Bozeman. 2246. Don't feel too bad. I got your check here for fourteen hundred and ten dollars. You can handle that, can't you? Yeah. Got your little something to remember it by. Let's hear it for him. Good job, boy. And first place, the Ripley, believe it or not, team. <laughs> Have you ever heard that saying? Only in America. Yes, sir. That's the only place in the world <laughs> that you two clowns can win a bass tournament. Got that well, right. I am so proud of you. And I really am. Y'all did a great job. And I'm glad to see you do it. They had 2609. Listen to this now. For four thousand dollars. It's here for four thousand dollars. They had the big fish today which is the biggest fish that we've ever weighed on this river system. 10.70 pounds. That's what you call a hog. Gotcha, who caught the big one? You did? Well, see if Jerry would have caught it, I'd probably believe it. We had an agreement before we got over here. Oh, you did, y'all made the deal, yeah. all right. Good job, boys. We're certainly proud of you. you We're certainly proud of you. We'll see you next time. That wraps it up for the day. Beautiful day. The weather couldn't have been any better. We had some bad weather yesterday with a heavy hail storm. It probably didn't help fishing that much where it held, but they still caught fish. They always do, and this place is full of fish, and it's full of big fish. So until next time, I'm Danny Joe Humphrey, and I'll see you out on the water.